Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. Thank you very much for joining us in today's video. And there is just a sociopath and me in game right now. There is a Jake about, but he is still downloading mods. And Ixia is currently uh, AWOL. Well, actually, he's not AWOL. He, he has a reason, but he's AWOL. In this video, we are in this session, this is a new session, in this session we are going to be trying to work out what to do with the Explorer. Now Jake's cargo ship, which you can see over to the right hand side, is has some work left to be done, according to Jake, but is pretty much there. And the frigate, which you can just see the engine pod underneath the Explorer, and perhaps a little bit of it off the front if you have a look at the front of the Explorer underneath that, you can just about see it. That is apparently ready to go. So we have our defense. We pretty much have our cargo. It's what to do with the main ship. And that is what we're going to be looking at in this video. So there's going to be a bit of discussion, uh, probably some ripping things apart. And as usual, some shenanigans. Make sure you stay tuned. Okay, Sociopoth, then what are you thinking? Could we could we just start a new ship and drag it around? An empty carcass of a ship. Uh, we can definitely do that. Yeah, and, and we could just drag uh, it around with us. In theory, in theory, we can um, Built on the what is it? Is the Duchess. bottom or the top? Oh, this the is top the of top the of the Duchess. Um, it's flat. It's solid. So um, welding a couple of blocks, including uh, whatever we want, uh, if we want to do a projection and weld it that way, or yeah. So we could do that. Lift it up a few blocks and then start building. Oh, Jake's going to be so happy with us. One thing that we will have to do is perhaps adjust this ship, then. Can we adjust this ship? Yeah, we can, can't we? Yeah, yeah, actually a ship can fly. Alright, so... I, mm, we uh, need to, you need to park it upside down, kinda, to uh, park it on the conveyor. Oh, can I not just rotate it 90 degrees and still have it park in? I'm, yeah, trying, to down. I'm trying to find the entrance. On the side. Oh, oh the, uh, I see. I see what you mean. It's okay. I, okay. I think if we turn it, the entrance will hit the thing. Um. Where am I at the moment? Ah, here we go. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, let let's see. I'm I'm in the can, ship. Uh, no. Just yeah, just unlock and then. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so if I just there you go, parking released. I'll move out a little. Whoa! You get pulled back. You need to move more. Oh, you need for to goodness sakes! Park and park. There. There you go. Yeah. Now you can turn. Yeah. So. I now just rotate it. Yeah, just rotate. Yeah, and, and I'm thinking, go. flat it like, do it like that, and park it up again. Should be okay, yeah. right? All right. Just zoom in again on this. Oh, there you go, control. Right, you'll have to guide me a little. Oh no, I see it. I see it. Yeah, I see it. I'll just disable the dampers here and just let it latch into place. That didn't work. Nope, down. Also, you need to pitch a little bit more. You need to roll towards yeah, the ship got it, there got it, got and it. up. Up. Up, oh, that's not too much. Ah, down. I'm trying to do this without dampers. Just because it's more entertaining. A little bit forward and down. Too much forward. 
it'll be back and up I feel like it's it's there. trying to latch but it's bouncing off it there it is is it on yes all right Oh, I see why you said it needed to be upside down because of the flat bottom. Is that what you were referring to? Because no, the connectors are no, at the bottom. No, I, I thought. Uh, um, yeah, the issue is uh, if the Duchess is going to move, it will probably burn the ship. Okay. Uh, is there? Do we have any other parking spots for this? Not really. Okay, how about this? If you attach a landing gear to the bottom of that, can I just park it on the underside of the Duchess? That's the only other thing I can think of. Oh, I don't know about the the only problem I have is the, the guns. no longer has any underside um, connectors. No, no, I'm not talking about connecting, I'm just thinking literally just parking it. So if we put a landing gear on that, will it... Right here? The bottom. Yeah, right here, Is I think. The bottom or...? Here, here, I'm, I'm, I'm at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Down here, I'm thinking maybe here, and then I just dump that, park that onto the Duchess, and we should be right here, and that should be okay. Are they pads or do they extend? No, oh, those are maglevs. Okay, cool. So need let to, me need to figure finish them though. That's fine. Uh, in the meantime, I'll get back in the I'll get back in the flight seat. Never flown a Xeer ship before. Let's crash it. Okay, maglevs placed. Okay, detaching and moving away. So then you want to flip 90 degree, uh, 180 degrees, yeah, one, yeah. and then yeah. um, probably park in the front area of the Duchess. Okay, can do. Or go straight, come straight in. Up. I'm still moving up. Up. Up, up, up. I'm moving up, I'm moving up. Relax. No, you were crashing. <laughs> okay, go forward a bit. Okay. There. You want to park it there? Uh, yeah, go in a little bit more. Oh, we're being shot, we're shooting something. I don't know what. That looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. And how do these maglevs work? Does Just it have... went. Okay. Okie dokie. There. Oh, what? That's it. Go uh, press B. Parking released. A little bit faster. Okay. There. I can't. Both that's of them cool. Uh, I'll switch the dampers off again on this because last time, yeah, we had damper problems. All oh, right. Yeah, it's. Uh, I see. I, I didn't know like where what happens with. You, yeah, you don't have to get close. It's just uh, range, and then uh, it's get a magnetic lock. Cool. Oh, is it the stalker drone it was firing at? I can just rename. I can just name this. Uh, this episode, repositioning ships. I'm a. I'm a shunter. Right. So now we've done that. We have this. All this space on top of the Duchess where we can build. So I'd assume you'd probably want a merge block first, wouldn't we? Um. No, not really. We don't need. But the thing oh. is that even if. If if we have um, the explorer is pretty big, it's gonna be in the way. So well, I was we have to build in a way that we're not touching any of the. 
So I was thinking, could we could we lift this up something like five blocks and say that's the bottom of the Duchess? I mean, sorry, not the bottom of the Duchess, the bottom of the whatever. Because I'm obviously, yeah, like like you said, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking we've got one, two, three blocks here for the top of the Explorer. Um. The other thing we could do is, could we build off to the side of the Duchess as well? Mm, we have... So sort of out on this side a bit. So it's not exactly symmetrical over the Duchess. We have a bit of range uh, okay. before we hit anything. So before we hit the outer shields. Okay. Uh, the third option we have is extending this, this gap between the Duchess and the Explorer. No, because then the, the Duchess gets pushed out of the shield. Right, okay. How much? How far can we extend the shields? Just enough to build. Uh, we can't extend it anymore. That's the maximum? Yeah, it, it, it is on the center pivoting, uh, but it's getting strange if you're making the ship. Okay, okay, well, uh, I think we can figure something out here. Just need to keep an eye out on that stalker drone, you know. So we we could do like this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we got all right. Yeah, you done four. So I was going to do four, five, but four is fine. Um, and then from that is the base of the ship. How much was it again, Jake? Uh, the distance of the small thrusters. Four blocks was it? That was two. Damage. Um, I I think the damage is two blocks. Uh, okay. But for safety, I usually do three. Yeah, so we're doing five, five so we're, we're perfectly fine. Then we have two blocks lower, four, yeah. The next thing we've got to figure out is how wide would we want this this new ship of ours. So I'm, I'm, and whilst you're doing that, I'm having a look at the width of the Explorer. We're roughly looking at what... Uh, 10 blocks wide for this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 18 blocks wide. The Explorer is 18 blocks wide. I wouldn't mind the ship becoming slightly so wider if, than this. If, if you like the hull which I made uh, on this internal one. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. This one. Yeah, I do. I do quite if like If you like this, the hull, so. what I can do is I can um, go into my uh, database, mm -hmm. rip the whole internal part out. Okay. Except uh, thrusters, and then we can put that on a projector and build build. How uh, wide build is hull. that? How wide is that? Um, can we t count it? I'm trying One, to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Thirteen blocks. Th so it's actually narrower than this ship. But it's longer. But and it's, it's higher. Up. It's a lot higher because it's a double hanger width. Okay. Oh! Oh, shields. Why are our weapons not firing? Our weapons should be firing. Our uh, weapons are, are not firing. firing. No, our ones are not. The it's the it's Xeer's ones that are firing. Maybe our shields are about to go down. Demo? Should we move? Is everything connected? Yes. I genuinely don't know if this is about to penetrate our shields. Oh, oh, there they go. I think it was range. Shield is holding. Yeah, and... It is. We are firing. That thing is, is firing back, though. Shunting shields. That is not a small drone. Oh, I think 
Don't forget you don't have shields yet. I think Jake's about to engage. Fortifying shield. <laughs> I think the stalker drones down. No, it's still firing. I think it's about to drift into our shields. Yeah, but look at this beautiful shield now. Yeah, I can see it. You've, you've. Well, there, there's many, there's many rings around that shield. I think it's done, guys. Guys, guys, I think it's done. We're out of ammo. Yeah, it's it's done. It's done. Yeah. Jake, you can stop shooting. It's it's just a. There is a lot of floating scrap out there. Yes, that's quite impressive. I will. I have to give it something else. That was one drone. Yeah, but it didn't penetrate. It didn't penetrate, but that was just one drone. I didn't realize the drones were that strong. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, I, I do like your ship design. Actually, um, tell you what. What would be nice is you said it's longer, right? Do you know yeah. how much longer, roughly? Um, no. Would it be possible to do this, but make it even a, a little bit longer still? Let's say if I remove the internals, so yeah. I remove everything internal, uh, and unless it's uh, critical to uh, the hull integrity. Yeah. Uh, I need to. I, I like. Uh, I. I, I have to say, I really like this design. I. I would not mind having a ship that looked like this, with some very minor, minor modifications potentially. Oh, is that you again, Jake? That is me firing. Yes. Okay. And yeah, we could just build that then. I dropped the shields to bear back to normal. So. Yeah, I can. I can see there. It looks like they're recharging. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more than a... But it's yeah. going to take me a little bit to prep, so... That's fine. In the meantime, what I could... In the meantime, I'm, I'm just thinking what I can do then in, in the meantime. Should we move to an asteroid? Because I think we're going to need ice soon, aren't we? Um, yeah, we need to... Let's we let's have some power deuterium, but we need some. yeah. Let's let's fly. Let's let's fly. Oh, there's a hole in the hole. Oops, forgot about that. Uh, okay, Jake, uh, are you attached? Uh, yes, the frigate is attached. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking for. A potential spot to look for asteroids. Some behind us. It's also a military carrier. Uh, hmm. All right, let's start heading forwards, and we'll see where we go from there. Accelerating. Oh, Jake, your dampers are on. Can you can you switch off your dampers, please? Yeah, give me a second. Thank you. I've just ploughed through the I've just ploughed through some of the debris and just watched it disintegrate as it hits our shield. Oh, that's great. Keep an eye out for asteroid. Oh, there's some asteroids just above us. That would be useful. Right. 
I'm going to be making a manoeuvre. Let's check out these asteroids right here. I have to say, the amount of thrusters on this ship is just ridiculous. Closer. No. That's the one I'll head for. Oh, looks like somebody's here. I say he's here, but he's not here. I can't hear him. Oh, so, so did you close the doors again? Nope. Uh, Are you stuck? Uh, um, no, I, I was just... X is here, by the way, sociopath. Okay. Uh, he's not on the Discord. No, he isn't. He's probably not. I just saw him join. Jack, we don't have one of your welding ships, do we still? Oh, at the moment. Okay. There he is. I'm exhausted. Well, that's what happens when you move furniture. I'm lucky I'm not the one that's bringing it to the dump, though. Oh, that's always a nasty, nasty thing. Very tiring. Um, uh, using a moving van to bring two queen-size beds, a box spring, and some bed parts from Ikea. Nice! Ikea. Believe in better. I believe that's what it has on the adverts. Sorry? It's Ikea. No, it's not. It's Ikea. Uh, it's Ikea. Ikea. It's Ikea. Wait, what did you say, sociopath? Ikea. I thought it was Ikea. Ikea. Why would you? Because that's what it says on the adverts. Yeah, but nobody believes the adverts. Well, see, all my life I've called it Ikea. And then I said, had it on the adverts, and it's a Swedish guy. And he goes, Ikea. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's Ikea, not Ikea. I say Ferrari. Ferrari? Yeah. Gonna murder you in your sleep. <laughs> or how do you say... Uh, Porsche. 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 Or Porsche. If you want Porsche. Porsche. It's not Porsche, it's Porsche. So, so, so I, who was it that had this? There's another YouTuber that made, that had this debate. He said, technically, it is Porsche, but a lot of people say Porsche. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really mind what people say, although if they say, oh, how is it pronounced? I'll say Porsche, roughly, because obviously we don't have the German pronunciation. It's Porsche. But, um,. Yeah, you've got um, the ones that I find quite funny is the ones that actually say, no, it isn't Porsche, it's Porsche. No, 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 it is Porsche, well, with the correct pronunciation that we're not doing, or well, I'm not doing anyway. Um, 
but whatever. Oh, this asteroid has nothing, although it could be a lovely base. I think we've had the discussion about bases before. Yes, we have. And since we know what the hacker drones do, leaving the orbital station with the antenna on, um, the station probably won't be there. Well, at least the hacker drones cannot disable the gyroscopes on it. They hit the gyroscopes all the way to 100, override, then the thrusters all the way at 100% in one direction. So imagine we have an orbital station, the hacker drone shows up and has the thrusters pointing towards a planet on full burn. We're going in hot. I'd like to mention that that is still a terrible idea. <laughs> what, the... What, we're going to crash it on a planet? Yes, crashing it on a planet is a very bad idea. How you how you like the server? Well, it's alright. I think we could put it through some tests. by making a well, maneuver. No, the, the, the server will handle it just fine. The station won't. And some of our computers may not. A uh, particular EC Gadget's laptop, I know won't. No, my laptop is not what runs this anymore. So it's perfectly fine. Although, here's a weird one for you, Jake. Jake, do you play Rise of Nations? I have done so in the past, yes. Have you ever played it with something else open? Another program? Yes, many times. Okay. So I was playing Rise of Nations uh, last night with... Uh, with a couple of my uh, cousins and one of them, he doesn't have a, a great PC because he's not had to use a PC in years um, anyway playing Rise of Nations he normally gets about 80 frames per second on it which right. is perfectly fine if he has Discord open he gets 3 frames a second well that's and we his just, problem and we uh, don't know yeah. why and I was just wondering if anyone else had experienced it. And the only other person I know that plays Rise of Nations out of you guys is Jake. Uh, is this the original or the remaster? Ex the extended one on Steam. I'm here. I thought like that was just weird. Because I did not think Discord was one of those that would eat up. Uh, resources and I looked it's only like 300 meg memory uh, I just wonder I don't know, maybe it's CPU I meg don't know. memory oh game please game nothing here either I've picked asteroids that have nothing on them okay then we need to build a small scout ship to do the scouting yes I think we do need to do that wait no we have one we hey. had several no, I, I mean, like, really small. Oh, right. Okay, I'll make a booster, I'll put a, a seat and a booster, and we'll let's... Put a Nord detector on it and start flying around to the uh, asteroids. And then you can place down a GPS location and we can jump to the asteroid. You know, I I'll, I'll, I'll want to make a... something Gadget, serious, so. Gadget can do that because Gadget has been feeling like he hasn't got anything to do. I did not so say that, to, but you did. Um, but I, we're gonna I will make them. the I will make the most basic ship you're ever going to see. I hope Vetrex is watching this. This is this is going to be the the greatest ship you ever see as well. Huh. That's up for debate. So, what tools do I require here? That order and materials. I need a. Uh, that that can go away no go away there we go so i'll need a uh, landing gear thrusters some armor blocks uh a flight seat yeah that'll do that looks good enough all right Let's while i was this. at work i had an epiphany of what i should do with my ship I ah fantastic 
I have no idea. I think the current data should be all little bit of power. Most of the internals gone. Right. Um, all the components are here. Why am I not able to build it? What are you trying to build? Oh, unknown technology you have to research at first. But you allowed me to place the block. Oh, are you having that problem as well? I I was having that. I think there's a there's a desync going on. Desync and space engineers never. I don't need crowd regen on the ship, do I? I don't think so. Okay, I found the thing. Oh, but the nano factory can build it. <laughs> okay. Well, with that little bit of confusion, I think we're going to end this particular video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more video. Oh, no. What? I did. I'm an idiot. You didn't start the recording, did you? Sorry? What? No, no, never mind. Uh, I just... I just shoved the ship I'm building out into space. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, Subscribe to the channel for more of Gadget's buffoonery. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively appreciated. I guarantee you, it will not stop me making stupid mistakes like this. And also, you can find me on social media at ECGadgetLP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, Sociopath, Jake, and Ixia. We'll see you next time in Space Engineers.